Hi you guys, welcome back to vlog week day three. I um, thought that today would be fun to just do like a night routine. I saw a few comments saying that you missed like my um, routine style videos and I know I just like do a ton of vlogs so I wanted to give this vlog week day three a little bit more of a theme. So we're gonna do a summer nighttime routine. Just wrapped up the work day, it's Friday, which is exciting. We have the weekend coming up and um, I just took the dogs on a little evening walk. I tried to give them a walk every day just because Ruse and Puppy has a lot of energy and Winnie like really, they just love it. So we walk around the neighborhood and come back. So we just did a little walk. I sat on the couch for a little bit and I just started doing some laundry. And if you guys have been keeping up with vlog week, you know that I'm kind of doing a bedroom refresh. We have the new console table. Um, last night we were supposed to move the nightstands up, but it just like still didn't happen. And then also I ordered a box spring on Amazon because we got a new bed frame, which I wanted to show you guys. So hopefully tonight when Dylan gets home, him and I can move the nightstands up here and we can kind of see the finished product. But I'm a little sad because I ordered a box spring on Amazon and it was delivered two days ago and my dad and I were gone at lunch when it was delivered and we came back and this has never happened before, but someone stole it off of our front porch, which is like literally insane. I can't believe that people do things like that. I think that that is just like so terrible of people to do. I'm like, why do people have to do that? And also it was a box spring. Like it was, it was one that you put together. It was like a metal one and then you put like a sheet over it. Um, so it wasn't like a huge box, but I'm sure it was pretty heavy. So I'm like, how did they steal that? And of course we have security cameras around the house. And of course at that moment they were disarmed. So we didn't even like catch it on camera, but we also got a new bed frame, which I wanted to show you guys because we also got new sheets and I'm so excited to do, like I've said, like a whole new bedroom refresh. Um, I love home decor, home interior, and I feel like it's just fun to switch up the space. Um, I loved our bedroom before. I loved our bed and our nightstands we have now, but I think that this go around is like a little bit more my style and I'm excited because we get to keep these nightstands that we have and put them in the guest room, which needed nightstands anyways and it's all gonna work out. And I feel like this will just feel like it's a completed bedroom. We have like a higher bed frame. We're gonna have big dresser side tables. We have a console table, the rug. We got all new bedding. And I feel like it's just gonna come together. So I wanted to show you, um, we are big, big fans of Brooklinen. And I wanted to thank them for sponsoring today's video because literally if you have not bought Brooklinen yet, you have to check them out. We have all of their bedding, like every single bed in our house is decked out in Brooklinen. And then we also use all of their towels. Trying out their new organic hardcore sheet bundle. We love the linen. That's what we have on our bed right now. We love it, um, but we're excited to try out. This is the organic duvet cover. We have that here. Um, this is the organic sheet set. So it comes with one flat sheet, one fitted sheet and two pillowcases. And then we also got the bundle that includes two more pillowcases because we have four pillows on our bed. I feel like the older I get, the more I care about things like this. Younger me would have been like, just throw any sheet on there. But now, once you sleep in good sheets, it's like a game changer. And with Brooklyn, and I feel like they only get better over time, which I really love. I feel like every single time I wash them, they just like get more lived in and they're just so comfy and cozy. Every night when Dylan and I lay down in our bed, we're like, we just love our bed. And I think it has a ton to do with our sheets. We ended up going with just the full white set, but if you guys are not a fan of white bedding, which I totally get, some people aren't. They have over 20 plus colors and patterns to choose from and you can bundle and save. So when you go through the process, I'll kind of do like a little overlay of the website so you understand what I'm talking about. You can do like maybe a different color pillowcase then your duvet cover and you can also get like a different color sheet like it doesn't all have to be one color which i really really love and then also instead of buying the individual items you can save 25 percent by purchasing the hardcore bundle which is what i have here which includes the core sheet set extra pillowcases and the duvet cover Dylan and i have become very picky about the sheets that we sleep with and what i really love about these is that we never get hot we are hot sleepers but these sheets are super breathable super light airy and we never feel like we never wake up dripping sweat which sometimes there's sheets that i do sometimes i'll like be traveling or stay in hotels and i take for granted my sheets that i have at home because sometimes they're just like super super uncomfy so i wanted to before we kind of got into our nighttime routine i wanted to take these out of the bag because they just got here today they came in the mail and i wanted to wash these and i'm like already feeling them and i'm so excited to sleep in some fresh sheets tonight so i'm gonna put these in the wash and then i will do the bed and show you guys kind of the finished 
product. The reason I wanted to bring up our new sheets to you guys is because Brooklinen is currently having their summer sale and I wanted to share with you guys because it's 20% off the entire website, which is huge savings. They don't do that all the time. So check it out. It's through July 5th and I'll have it linked down below in the description. It's the perfect time. It's summer, it's hot. It's the perfect time to get new cooling light airy sheets. Also, I know there's a ton of weddings this summer and I feel like the hardcore bundle would be such a good um, a gift to like a new couple um, moving into a house or moving in together. I feel like this is such a nice luxe gift. So check them out. I will link it below for you guys. Um, and I again wanted to thank Brooklyn for sponsoring today's video. I truly love this brand. Also check out their towels. They have like literally the best, biggest plush cozy towels. And we've never gotten anything from Brooklyn that we haven't loved. So check them out. I will link it below. Someone must be at the house because the dogs are freaking out. Hang on. It was just the UPS guy, but I feel like I'm on watch now with all of our packages because I'm like, I don't want any more of our stuff to get stolen. And I like make sure that our cameras are armed now because I'm like, who steals a freaking box spring off of someone's front porch? That's literally insane. I'm gonna go put these sheets in the wash so we can get some fresh sheets on the bed tonight. Dylan has to work late, it is Friday and they have recruits in town. So he will be at the parent social tonight. I decided not to go just cause my dad left this morning and I was a little bit behind with work um, this week just because I went out with my dad a lot and he was in town and I wanna spend time with him. And so I just decided to have a chill night at home, a little chill Friday, which is why I wanted to film this in-depth kind of summer night routine. I also just put some scalp oil in my hair, which is why my hair looks so dark and greasy. Um, and I'm gonna leave it in for an hour or so, and then we'll do a full body shower and all that stuff. So we're just gonna have like a little self care night in. And then once Dylan gets home, hopefully, <laughs> fingers crossed, three days in a row I've said this, I'm like, let's move the nightstands upstairs. So we'll see. But first I'm gonna go put this in the wash and kind of get our little night started. I need to figure out what I'm gonna make for dinner. We have some leftover steak from a restaurant we went to last night, and so I thought maybe I could just do a big steak salad for dinner. I thought that could be yummy. I need to clear out the nightstands. Our house cleaner came today, which was really, really nice. We hadn't had our house clean in a while, and she like fully mopped the floors. She did the kitchen, wiped everything down, which I'm capable of doing. It was just kind of nice because we were a little bit busy around here today. It was nice to have her and I'm very thankful that we get to have that. We have her come every two weeks and the last time around when she was supposed to come, we were out of town. So it's been kind of a while. So it was really nice to have her. I think it's her and her daughter and we just love them and adore them. So we're thankful that they come and help us out with our house and all that. So the house is squeaky clean and I'm excited just to have a chill night in. I'm gonna go throw this in the wash super quick. got a package in from Sigma and I'm so excited. They sent a brush cleaner and then this is, I guess, another one for smaller brushes. Oh yeah, instant brush, instant shave remover. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I actually should clean my makeup brushes tonight. Oh my God, they sent all new They literally sent me so, <gasps> I need to throw out my old brushes and switch these. Look at all these brushes. It's actually so crazy because when I started wearing makeup in high school, I actually asked, I'll never forget. Oh my God, this is gonna be so good. I asked me and my sisters, we all wanted Sigma Beauty brushes so bad and for Christmas, well, from Santa, we got like the full set of brushes. So it's kind of full circle that they sent me stuff. Apparently they sent brush cleaner too. I'm so excited um, because this is like a brand that I was obsessed with. It was my first set of makeup brushes ever. So that is exciting. They also sent some hydrating lip oil. Cute, a lip gloss. They sent a... 
What is this? Color correcting. That looks like a concealer. This is a eyeshadow palette, which I don't have many eyeshadow palettes because I normally don't wear eyeshadow. I need to save some of this for my sisters because they love, like Emily loves makeup. She would love this. I need to give this to her. I need to go through my makeup brushes and get rid of like the old dirty ones and replace them because that's gonna be so nice. Um, I have a spot in the linen closet in our bathroom of where I keep all my makeup. And I actually washed this out like months ago and it's been sitting under our kitchen sink. But I think I'm gonna put all of my new brushes in here and organize my makeup a little bit better because I am starting to build like a bigger makeup collection and I need to organize it better because I feel like it's kind of just like all over right now. But this is so exciting. I am so excited. I'm about to feed the dogs and then also make myself a little steak salad. I used to have this all the time growing up, so I wanted to share. It's literally like so simple, but um, I was gonna shower and everything first, but I decided to just like get dinner out of the way, get the kitchen clean, and then go take a nice long hot shower. Okay, I have everything laid out. <laughs> it's probably like, what is this? But this is leftover steak from our dinner last night. It has like truffle butter on it, but I'm going to dice this up and then heat it up in the microwave. I'm gonna thinly slice some red onion, cucumber, and a head of romaine lettuce. And then if you do half parts, Ken's chunky blue cheese and half Ken's creamy French, it's like the best dressing ever. And then if you top it off with salt and pepper, it's just like such a yummy quick salad. It's probably not the healthiest because of these dressings, but we grew up eating this because my dad actually used to work for Ken's and we just like love all of their salad dressings. If you guys try this dressing, let me know how you like it because we grew up eating this like if we ever had any leftover steak in the house my mom and dad would always make this salad the next day you can also add croutons on top or really just like whatever salad toppings you like best I feel like every time i cook i go like this <laughs> like i think it's because my dad and mom used to cook like this do you guys throw like a towel over your shoulder i feel like it's just easy because you can just like always wipe it off i'm gonna cut some of this fat off of here dylan and i shared this ribeye last night and then we also got fried chicken at dinner and it was the best but we were so full because we had drinks and appetizers that we just like could not finish it all so i remember last night at dinner i was like "Ooh, save that because i'm gonna make a steak salad because it's like my go-to it reminds me of my childhood i like a little bit of fat on my steak but not a ton because then i get like a little grossed out you know i recently got new kitchen knives and i just ordered this random set off amazon they had really good reviews and I'm obsessed with them. We had such dull knives and now cooking with these is such a game changer. I can link them. They're by the brand Global and I got like a three, a three pack set. Let's just do a minute. 25 is probably good. Go. Little tip I have for lettuce after you wash it, line the bowl with paper towel and kind of just 
wrap it in there and then I always like to let it sit in the fridge. My dad taught me this and it's so nice to have like a cold salad bowl, like something about it just makes it so much better. excited to eat this so good but i need to go get my water i was talking to emily today and i was telling her how nice it was to have my dad in town all week because that was the longest i got to like hang out with my dad maybe like one-on-one -on -one time in the longest time ever whenever i go visit at the beach or like i ever see my parents it's because there's like an event going on or like a special occasion and it's just always like chaos because we have a big family which i love but it was so nice getting to just hang out and like do stuff with my dad like we went out to the bar one night we got dinner and drinks and we hung out at the house during the day i was like not as busy with work this week just because i knew he was going to be here and it was really nice to spend quality time and it makes me upset because i feel like the older i get the less i get to see my parents and when he left today i like pulled away and i had to like pull over because i was crying in my car because i'm like my parents are getting older and i recognize it and it makes me upset <laughs> and i don't mean to cry because like obviously that's just like a part of life and like getting older i think is beautiful i remember one time one of you guys dm'd me and were like how are you dealing with being 26 i just turned 26 and i feel like i'm behind in life or i feel like i'm not where everyone else is in life or i just am like anxious to get older and obviously getting older is like scary like no one really likes it it comes with more responsibility it comes with other things too but i also think getting older is a blessing i think every step of life there's like beautiful things to look forward to um i think it's just uncomfortable which I think a lot of us like human beings like don't like to get out of our comfort zone at least me and I think with aging you have to do things that you're not comfortable with if that makes any sense and so like obviously I'm getting older and I have like my own family now and I want to start a family of my own and I think it's crazy how fast life moves I think that's kind of why I got emotional today because I was like life is just doing going so quick and I remember I was talking to my dad i was like i remember being a kid and waiting for christmas like you know like when you were in grade school you would wait and wait and wait for christmas break and then once you got out for christmas break you'd be like oh my god i'm so excited for christmas at least that's how i was and now december hits and i feel like the month goes by like that and i think the older you get the faster time goes which is crazy um and time is so valuable like time is gold and i think when it comes to family um the older everyone gets and the busier life gets and everyone starts making their own little families um it's harder to get everyone together and i think that that's the hard part for me because i just wish like if we could all live on one piece of land and like all be together every day like that's what i would want because i just like love my family so much and i um i don't know my parents are just like such special people like i really lucked out and i like don't even know why i'm crying i think i just like i was with my dad all week and i'm sitting here by myself and dylan's like at work and dylan's really busy and i think um i don't know maybe i'm just going crazy <laughs> i think it's like the first time i've been alone all week so i kind of just got a little bit emotional i'm really excited because dylan is about to be off of work um for like two and a half weeks and we're gonna get to spend a lot of time together and we're gonna go see my family and my whole entire family is gonna be together in florida for the first time in like ever including like carson sarah ben emily dylan me my mom dad danny and then my dad's basically my second dad mark um and it's gonna be so fun we're doing like family photos and i just like literally cannot wait um and we're gonna be together for a whole week so i'm like really looking forward to that i think it's gonna be really like a special time to make really good memories with my family hard to live away from family and i i feel lucky that it is hard because i know some people don't have the families like i do and i feel like blessed for that but sometimes it's hard being away from family i think it's hard for me because dylan's career is so time consuming and i know he loves it and i love watching him do what he loves and i honestly love what he does as well like when it's football season it's such a fun time and going to the games it's really exciting and i'm excited to watch our kids grow up around that but i think that there's also 
I mean, it's like with every job, there's positive and negative about it. I did a Q&A on my Instagram stories yesterday and one of you guys asked how I was so good at being so independent and like doing a lot of things alone. And I think it's just like, I've grown to, like that's what I know. Um, and I'm just a really independent person. Also my mom and dad both like growing up taught us girls to be really independent. And so I think that that's why I'm the way I am because of them but then also Dylan and I went through long distance and I had to be really independent during that and really like strong during that emotionally um, and then now that we're together but now he's gone a lot and then I travel a lot alone we just like that's just how we both are and it works and our relationship is great and the time that we do get to spend together is really special but during the times when he's really like work heavy are the times that I wish I was closer to family because I don't really have anyone here um, and it's just hard, but anyways, I don't know. I'm just rambling about random things. I'm like crying to the camera on a Friday night by myself. I'm like, what am I doing? I need to make a drink or something. I'm like, literally, what am I doing? I stay busy. I'm thankful for the life I have. I'm thankful that I could pick up and go visit my parents or fly to see my sisters or like anything like that. And they're not too far away. Like when we were in Colorado, it was really hard. I think I mentally struggled there. And then luckily Emily came and moved out there for a little bit with us and that like really, really helped. But luckily now we're just like a drive away, but I will never take for granted again. I guess I didn't know this when I was growing up, but like if God willing, if we're ever able to be really, really close to family with Dylan's career, um, I will never take that for granted, especially like when we start bringing kids into the world and like creating a family. I think it's important for our kids to grow up around their grandparents because Dylan and I are both so blessed to have amazing families um, that I want our babies to like grow up around them and their cousins and their aunts and uncles and all that. So I'm definitely, am going to make that a priority. Even if we don't live close, I just think about us living close and how much like of a blessing that would be. But I don't know. I'm going to turn on some TV and I'm going to eat my salad and then we're going to go shower. And then Dylan just texted me. I think that he might be getting home at a semi decent time. But we'll see. You guys know how that goes. Crushed the salad. It was so good. Pick up the kitchen quick. I'm the type of person that cleans as I go when I'm cooking. I don't know if everyone's like that or if you leave the mess for after. I feel like I have to clean as I go because then after dinner, it's like way less stressful. I was at Target early this morning and I got all new cleaning supplies from this brand. I don't know if Target just started carrying them but at least my target did and I want to start using non-toxic cleaning supplies. So I got the dish soap in the scent Calm and then also this glass cleaner in the scent Calm and then this is the like universal spray. You can really like clean off any countertop with it and this scent is Rise and all of them smell so good. If you haven't tried them, they're at Target and I just like love the packaging. I think it's super sleek. I'm excited about them so I thought I would share. <laughs> About to shower and i wanted to show you guys my little workout outfit i've been wearing this all day my jacket is from lululemon i really love it it's really nice and thin for summer ignore the wash and then underneath i have the i believe it's the high neck wonder train like tank i have it in black and white i am obsessed with them it has a built in bra and they're so comfy so i'll link that and then these are my absolute favorite running shorts they're from the brand aloe yoga and i wear a size medium i think they're called the stride short and I have them in like a gray color in this blue. So I'll link these for you guys. And then ankle socks are from Lululemon. I love the Aritzia ankle socks and then Lululemon if I'm doing like workout or athleisure vibes. These are a really nice like material and they're more for working out. So I'll link my entire little fit for you guys. Out of the shower, I just did some deep conditioning, like leave-in treatment in my hair. This is by the brand Crown Affair, and I really like 
this up. My healthy hair journey, I feel like is going pretty well. Love doing a leave-in conditioner. I feel like it's really helped my hair um, like not feel fried and dry anymore. I used to bleach my hair all the time, you guys know this. So my hair was just always really, really dry and what do you call it, like brittle, like the ends especially. I do my skincare first and then I do my like body care after just because my hands are all clean so I can like touch and rub on my face. I use all clear stem products, you guys know. I think I talked about clear stem in my like journey with them last vlog I believe but I really I really have been liking it so far I think it's about to be my time of the month I'm bad at tracking my cycle which I know is bad um and my goal is to get that under control obviously I have a few breakouts coming on but like I said I'm pretty sure it's because I'm about to get my period this sigma lip treatment that they sent is so good I really like the smell of it new obsession is like body care so I've been really into oiling my body every night. I feel like it's really helped my skin and I mix it in with the lotion. So I'm gonna do this body butter from Primely Pure and then mix it in with their oil. Um, I've also been like dry brushing my body before I get in and out of the shower, which I really have been liking. And I don't know, I feel like it's just like really been keeping my skin hydrated for summer and keeping my tan on like much longer. I feel like my tan would have already faded from the Bahamas, but I feel like I still, minus my face because I've been like exfoliating my face and stuff. I feel like my body still has nice color. Yeah, this stuff smells so good. Uh, whenever I do do this though, and I use a lot of body oil, I just make sure to stay in my robe for a good bit. Just so I don't get any oil or anything like that on my clothes, or I'll just put on like dark pajamas that like don't really matter if it gets an oil stain, but normally I'll just like walk around my house in the robe for a little bit before I change. You can see all of the like oil on the robe, but I'm gonna take this off quick, do the rest of my body, my arms and stuff, and then we'll finish skincare. It's looking real. Can you see her? <laughs> you always staring at your mama. Why are you so cute? Go get Winnie. Go tell Winnie to be brave and come upstairs. Can you go teach your sister to be brave? Rue, guess what? Guess who's on his way home? Dad's on his way home. I'm so happy. Dylan just called and said that he's on his way home and it's only eight o'clock, which to some of you guys on a Friday night, you're like, Rachel, that's bad. But for us, it's good, so. June has just been a long month for both of us. I think we're both ready for it to be over. And July is gonna be so fun. I'm really excited for July. But just put on moisturizer and the other serum. And then I'm going to roll out my face a little bit. I like love doing this on my jaw because I have really strong jaw muscles and I grind my teeth when I sleep, which is why I've had to have Botox in my masters, um, which is like here, um, because I grind my teeth so bad. When I was doing the Invisalign, there was two times where I grinded through my Invisalign trays, which is actually insane. Like Dylan will wake me up in the middle of the night and be like, Rachel, you have to stop because I will, I just, I don't know where I get it. I think my dad does it as well. Maybe I get it from him. So, yeah, I'm gonna get dressed. We're all showered and oiled up. I feel like a big old grease ball, but I wanted to show you guys these pants. I'm literally obsessed with them. They're from the brand Turn. I just got them in black. I have them in white and gray too, and I wear a medium and forward. I actually just started selling them so you can get like two day shipping or you can order right off of a turn's website they have like the best comfy basics I would show you if it would move but they're really good in length if you're a taller gal I'm wearing this little crop tee from nudes i believe is how you say i think they just came out with like a basic clothing line they are the company that has like the boob tape and stuff and this is like a really good quality crop and i love how it fits and where it like hits on the stomach so this is my little Comfy outfit for the night, black Spanx sports bra underneath just to have on for now. And then I'll just probably just take the bra off for sleep and sleep in this. Pants are pricey, but I swear, <laughs> look at Rue. <laughs> These pants are worth every single penny. They're so, so comfy. What's up? 
<laughs> Look who's home. What is that? Kickstart my heart by Motley Crue. Is that a lawnmower? Guitar. We have successfully moved one of the dressers upstairs. We got into a fight. <laughs> so let's see how the second one goes. You have to stay out of the way because you're gonna trip us. Yeah, if you're the bottom, it's more weight, but it's awkward angle if you're at the top. Oh yeah. We're fucking built different. Wait, my hands, my hands are slipping. Just set it down. Oh set no! It. Set it down! Find your fingers! Look at my fingers! I have all the weight back here. No switch? No, because I can't walk backwards. How do my guns look? Can you please turn that music off? I can't think straight with that music on. Thank you. You are terrible in a chaotic environment. You're not giving me good instruction. Oh, do I have to teach you how to carry it? No, but like you're, I need you to tell me how many steps are left. I'm sorry, but you can fucking look around. I'm gonna shut this. Yeah, just let in hot air. What's the password? Are you kidding me? What's the password? You. Nope, not it. Don't condone soft shit around me. I can't do it with my nails, Dylan. Is that the remote? Yeah. Make sure that we don't lose that. Okay, and put, pull this tight. Yeah, like that. Mini dressers slash nightstands are up here and I'm literally obsessed. I'm so excited to have more storage. Um, and I think that this looks so good. I'm really excited to get the bed finished. We did just put our Brooklyn in sheets on there and I'm so excited to go to sleep. You know, when you have like fresh, clean, crisp sheets, that's us tonight. I'm so excited, but I wanted to show you guys the nightstands. They're gonna be so perfect for like socks, underwear, bras, workout clothes, pajamas, all that. Right now we don't have, we didn't have a space for that. We don't have a dresser in our bedroom. Right now, I just have a bunch of random stuff because I cleared out my old nightstand. A lot of these drawers are gonna be filled with clothes and then these two top smaller ones, I'll just use as my like little nighttime stuff that I need. Like in this drum I'm gonna keep, this is like a little sheet spray that I use, a lighter for the candles, and then I take Nutrafol and Clearstone every night. And then I have a little Laneige in here. But a lot of you guys were commenting on my last vlog or a few vlogs back and saying to be careful with taking Nutrafol because it has biotin and B12 in it, I believe, and they say that that is a big cause of acne. And I recently just started taking this, and I feel like my skin was really clear from this, and now I'm getting some breakouts. So I'm thinking it could be the Nutrafol, but I'm 
Gonna give it a little bit longer because I really wanna be able to like Nutrafol, so fingers crossed, but I need to center this lamp a little bit, but the box spring will raise this bed up about seven to nine inches, so the pillows will sit like up here. So it right now looks funny and these look really big, but I promise in person, like once our um, mattress is higher, it would be higher, but someone's stole our box spring. Um, I think it'll look a lot better but we still have plenty of room and I think that they fit really nicely and now we'll have more storage. And then now we also have this under the TV. So I think that this room is pretty much finished. We just need to get some pillows and stuff to style the bed, but we have the fresh sheets on and now we have a lot of storage. Are you excited about it? Fire! <laughs> Rue, you were just outside on the clean sheets. You mean in the grass? Not on the Look at her. Rude, do you love it? <laughs> Your haircut's kind of funny. This rug, I think, ties in nicely. So the bed frame is from Home Threads. I will link it for you guys. And the side tables, if you missed it in vlog week, those are from Stock and Trade, so I sadly can't link those. Curtains are Amazon. Sheets are obviously Brooklinen. Our duvet insert is also Brooklinen. We like love Brooklinen over here. And then we also have some of the um, Marlowe pillows on our bed, which is also founded by the same founders as Brooklinen. We really love those pillows too. So anyways, I'm excited to show you guys once we have a box spring because it looks funny right now, but I promise the nightstands don't look this big in person. I think that the proportion size will be really good. Don't you think once the box yeah. spring comes? Cause right now they look kind of funny, right? Oh, I think it looks really good. You don't think I it looks just too... headbutt the corner of the cabinets <laughs> in the middle of the night, but I know our head's gonna be weighed on here. We're gonna be having to reach up, but this is what I keep on my nightstand. Water. <laughs> Trying to leave um what did I do with it? You your book is already gone. I wanted to leave this book out because I was like literally twenty minutes. I was like, maybe it'll be motivation to read. Like I've heard great things about this book. I want to get into reading, but I just I don't know, I just think it's so boring. So I went ahead and gave it the boot and so I put it in the drawer. I've been trying to read that book since our honeymoon. <laughs> wow. Sorry, I only read one book my whole life. Dylan, remember when I was trying to remember when I was trying to read on the honeymoon and you'd be like, You're not allowed to talk to me until you finish one chapter <laughs> And I won it. I didn't really hold that rule. Why is your underwear hanging out of your pants? Hi Boo. You being a good girl? 